The great battles of our time. Man versus nature, intellect versus instinct. Burrito versus butthole. Here in this Fortress of Solitude, we reflect and ponder tough questions about life and ourselves. And the toughest question of all may be, what do I wish I could accomplish before I die? Mine eyes have seen the glory. The proverbial bucket list. Why is it called that? Do you have one? Should you have one? If so, what should be on it? Let's dive into those questions today on The Number Two Show. You know, they've always said to think outside the box, but here, inside this box, we've had some of the most profound reflections. They say inspiration strikes in the most unexpected places. Sir Isaac Newton, an apple tree. Archimedes, a bathtub. Me, well, let's just say there's a reason I'm broadcasting from a bathroom stall. The bathroom. More than just tiles and toiletries, a vault of solace, a chamber of reflection. Ever think about how much history, philosophy, and yes, even strategy have been contemplated in spaces just like this? I'm pretty sure when Bill Shakespeare wrote To Be or Not To Be, he carved it with the quill on a bathroom stall before he put pen to paper. How many of you have had those aha moments in the restroom? Think about it. You're all alone, free from distractions, and suddenly the answer to that problem you've been mulling over becomes as clear as the bathroom tiles. Recent studies, and by studies I mean a quick poll of a few of my friends, reveal that bathrooms are like unsung brainstorming chambers of the household. I'm pretty sure if we placed whiteboards in showers, we would have solved world hunger by now and probably perfected teleportation. But today we are switching gears to contemplate life's big picture, the journey. Which brings us to today's main topic. Follow me through the glory hole as we explore the bucket list. It's a concept most of us are familiar with, but how many of us truly understand its origin? The phrase kicking the bucket has been around longer than we might think. But why a bucket and why kick it? Historians theorize about a grim tie to execution, public hanging, to be more direct, with kicking our own bucket away as the last thing we do before we die. That's a stark contrast to the delightful and daring dreams we jot down in our little dream journals before we go night-night. Eventually, we flipped the bucket over, took a seat, dropped a deuce, and got to thinking, what do I want to do before I die? Take my pal Rizzuto. He's always dreamed of drop-kicking a mofo. His dreams may be violent and small to us, but they're big to him, and there are plenty of people running around out there that could use a nice Double Dragon Van Damme-style dropkick right to the side of their temporal lobe. Or my pal Learn. She wants to kiss Steven Tyler from Aerosmith and jump out of a birthday cake. Maybe we kill two birds with one stone, and we Ocean Eleven her into Steven's 100th birthday party and scare the holy hell out of him and get her a nice restraining order. As for me, beyond the allure of a futuristic self-cleaning bathroom, which, let's face it, is the dream, I have several items on the list ranging from small ones like sliding across the hood of the General Lee like a portly Beau Duke, or Operation Honeysuckle Rose, which is my yearly attempt to board Willie Nelson's tour bus and smoke out with the country music Buddha. But the point of our bucket list isn't just the dreams we jot down, it's about seeking out those experiences. It's about looking life straight in the eyes and saying, I want more. More adventures, more laughter, more memories. It's not a to-do list that belongs in a drawer, right? It's a must-experience list. It doesn't have to be all huge pie-in-the-sky dreams like climbing Mount Everest. Maybe your dream is kissing a stranger on the subway, and if so, I say get consent and go for it. Hell, you might even stop an aspiring SoundCloud ukulele artist from giving an impromptu train car concert that nobody asked for. But what if instead of a train car, it was a bathroom stall and it was a concert we did ask for? Because part of my bucket list is to have some of the best artists in the world play on this very show. Which brings us to our next segment. The first ever Tiny Stall Concert. The first time I saw this artist perform, it was electric. He took command of the stage like I take command of a good pork steak. All the way from New York, New York, performing Never Ending Moment off of his new album, Dream Machine. Please welcome Des Rocks. Forever 
together Through fire and rain I'll wait for you I'll never surrender When you ask me to Eggs out from your garden Talking sweet little lies in the space of a thousand years A dark river is rising So I hold on to A never-ending moment with you stall concert bucket list check big thanks to my guest des rocks and speaking of rocks i'm as hard as one right now after that performance so i won't be able to stand up for a while but you can which brings me to our final segment the wrap-up bucket lists aren't just for the adrenaline junkies or the wanderlusters they're for all of us even your buddy Frank at work, whose quirky little dream is to clean out his life savings, quit his job, and marry a stripper. If that's on his bucket list, then be supportive, because that's what bucket lists are. They're a testament to the human spirit's insatiable thirst for experience, for connection, for a tale worth telling. Even if it ends in Frank's terrible divorce, him begging for his job back, and living on your couch until he's back on his feet, it's still one hell of a story. And isn't that what life's about? Crafting stories, ones that make both Shakespeare and your next door neighbor nod in appreciation and say, what the hell was Frank thinking? And you say he wasn't thinking, man? That crazy son of a bitch was living. L-I-V-I-N. Our lists, our dreams, they're plot points to our epic narrative. Beyond the quirky wishes, there are those that touch the soul. Maybe it's reconciling with a long lost friend or a parent or watching sunrise from the top of a mountain. If you were to write down a bucket list item right now, what would it be? Think about it, marinate in it, and who knows, perhaps the solitude of your next bathroom visit might just offer the clarity that you see. Until next time, keep dreaming, keep doing, and remember life's an adventure waiting to be written and always wipe front to back. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hell, leave a comment or two. If you know what your bucket list items are, I would love to see them below. Let me know. And thank you for watching The Number Two Show.